Yeah, I mean, I think I just feel relieved that the game's done, the job's done, we move on to the next and, um, yeah, obviously happy um, with my performance and happy with everyone's performance. I think we worked extremely hard tonight for each other and everyone just focused on their job, what they had in front of them and, um, yeah, as I said, just pleased to get the job done and move on to the next. Thank you very much and congratulations. Let's open to questions now, please. Over here. Please uh, also introduce yourself. Let us know your name and your organization. Hey, Caitlin. George Clark, AAP. Congratulations on the result. Um, you talked about the team effort. The girl who played you in for the first goal, Mary Fowler, awesome tonight. What did you make of her? And did you feel that was maybe a, a coming-of-age performance for her in this jersey? We've seen a lot of flashes of brilliance, but tonight she was everywhere. Yeah, no, I think Mary's been class this whole tournament. Um, she, you know, when she's on the ball, she's going to create or, um, yeah, get a shot off or score a goal and I mean it makes my job easier I know if I find her in the box nine out of ten times it's going in the back of the net so yeah she's unbelievable talent and we're very lucky to have her next question please over there thank you Greta Lind Elfreunde um I was wondering do you feel like the support for the Matildas is getting bigger and bigger with every match I mean you had an amazing home crowd at the opening match but I feel like this was even bigger would you agree yeah, no, I do think so. I think the whole country is behind us and we do feel it and we do see it. And not only here, I think other countries as well have jumped on board and um, they, they want to support us. So, yeah, it's incredible to see and um, we just want to keep building on this momentum and, um, yeah, keep our dream alive. Next question, back here, please. Hi, Caitlin. Tracy Holmes, ABC. Can you talk to us a little bit about uh, pressure? Because a lot of people outside are saying what the pressure must be like for the Matildas at home, that crowd tonight, and how much work you've been doing as a group to be able to harness that pressure and turn it into a positive energy that you can write off. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you feel pressure when you're not prepared and we, we feel prepared. We feel that we're ready for any scenario, every match and Tony's done an unbelievable job to get us ready and get us, I guess, focused for what's ahead and, um, yeah, I don't think we really feel the pressure. We're just enjoying our performances and building on that and, um, yeah, want to want to keep building and keep coming out better. We've set the bar now to what our performance, we the bare minimum is, so... We just want to keep building on that and we know we have to keep taking it up another level if we want to go all the way. Final question over here. Martin Gabor, Newswire, congratulations on tonight. Just can you talk us through, did you know that Sam Kerr was always going to play tonight and how important was it for her to get 15 minutes under her belt with the rest of the tournament on the line? Yeah, no, I mean, Sam was obviously ready to, to get some minutes and, um, yeah, it was a massive boost for us to have her back and... Not only for us, I think for her as well. This dream is for her as well. And um, she plays a massive part in our team. And for us, it was, yeah, nice to see her back on. And it just helped boost the team even more. And I think for teams looking ahead, it's pretty scary to know that now she's back in the team and she's going to be a part of it with us. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy for her. Thank you very much, Caitlin, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.